yo yo what is going on guys today it's your boy trady 15 coming to you with another black ops 3 multiplayer gameplay in today's gameplay guys are going insane a very insane and impressive 78 kill streak on the map nuketown using the bmp the attachments i had equipped on this weapon is going to be the long barrel fast max and the grip the perks i was running today were the um flag jacket scavenger and tack mask i believe with the El Cornon as a secondary and the C4 as my equipment. If you guys don't know, I've recently just joined this clan. The name of the clan is Team Loyalty. A currently hold like almost 1,300 subscribers up on YouTube right now, and we're to, we're uh, sponsored by a couple of um, different companies. I don't know the exact names of them. I would have to go check the Twitter, but. I will be leaving a link to the YouTube channel, the clan channel, um, in the description below if you guys do want to go check that out. And um, let's get right on into today's gameplay. So like I said guys, this is a 78 gun streak on the map Nuketown with the BMP. And um, this is like, this is my highest gun streak, like honestly. It is a pretty long gameplay, I mean, but a 78 gun streak, how fast are you going to get that? I mean, I'm not no cornish chain feed i'm not a cornish for his eyes and nobody in the party was running all support so i'm not gonna get that many kills and that have a, a gun streak in a short period of time this is a pretty long gameplay and it took me both rounds to get the gameplay initially when i was playing you know we was just going for the regular spawn trap but the kids we were playing against they're like they're pretty bad and this is one of this is one of those good ass guy lobbies where you can just streak and sit in the spawns and you valid die the entire match. Honestly, I ended up going 96 and 2 in the gameplay. Once I was like once I was like I wanna say 63 and 1, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go for the double nuclear. Cause once I once I seen this was a good ass lobby, I was like, I'm gonna go for a double nuke. And I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna go for the double nuclear. I'm just gonna go for a gun streak and see how far I get. And once I started doing that, I was like, you know what? Instead of going for a gun streak, well, not instead of going for a gun streak, but on top of going for a gun streak, I was gonna go for a 100 in one gameplay because I did end up dying one time and then the second time was in the second round. But, moving on. Things I wanna talk about in this gameplay are some things I do like about Black Ops 3 and some things I don't like. I don't have a set list right now, so I'm going to be kind of going off the dome. Excuse me if I get a little scatterbrained. So, first thing I do like about Black Ops 3 is the movement system. I mean, Advanced Warfare had a pretty bad movement system in my opinion. That completely screwed Call of Duty. And I was hoping that Black Ops 3 wasn't going to come back with the same concept. And, you know, I was, I, was, I was pretty freaking excited and I was pretty happy with what the movement system turned out to be like. I mean, granted, I would, like, I would, I would want, I do want to have boots on the ground. Like, that's what I was raised up on. That's what I'm used to playing. I mean, but the movement system is pretty good in this game, to be honest. Especially when you got a scuff control and you, like, get the wall running down packed. The movement system is pretty good. Secondly, I have actually learned to love the score streaks in this game, guys. As long as you can keep the enemies off of the freaking launchers, and you know, as long as you can keep the enemies from destroying your score streaks, the score streaks are gonna do what they're supposed to do. Like the raps, I do not remember how many kills my raps got in this game, but I'm pretty sure it got over 20 kills. I got like, I got at least 20 kills with my raps this game, and um, it was like one or two other people in the game that was using raps, so that goes to show how good the raps are. So. Next thing I want to talk about is going to be some things I do not like about the game. And the first thing I don't like about this game is that you can get random lag spikes. And I'm like, for the most part, the, the connection is decent. I mean, but I still get lag spikes. There'll be some games where I'm like freaking on a brutal metal spawn trap and doing good. And next thing you know, I get a lag spike and somebody jump out of spawn with a freaking Vesper. Like, come on now. The Vesper used to be the, one of the best guns in the game up until they freaking nerfed it and they try to bring it back I guess but I mean that that really didn't do much justice but um another thing I don't like about this game is going to be freaking what what's another thing I don't like about this game because it's not really much I don't like about the game um I don't like how 
noobs can run around with a brecci. No, I take that back. I don't like how noobs can run around with a freaking Argus and one shot you cross map. But I run around with an Argus and I just straight up die repeatedly. Like my freaking KD with the Argus is terrible. Like it, I don't, I don't freaking like it at all. But you know, that's just. I guess that's a couple things I don't like about the game. So moving on with today's commentary. And I'm actually going to go back and talk more about the clan. Um, if you guys are interested in joining up on a team, the team that I am with, like I said, is called Team Loyalty. And like I said earlier, I will be leaving a link in the description down below again. Um, the team I'm with is Team Loyalty. And basically, it's an EU clan for those of you guys who live in freaking United Kingdom or wherever you, EU, New England, wherever it is, freaking UE. It's an EU clan, but... You know, it's also based in the United States. So basically with this clan, it's a competitive clan. And uh, the freaking team record right now, UMG, is just like 40 and 1. I mean, that's a pretty good record. I mean, starting off as a team. And um, it's also a Puff Samba clan as well. Um, I am a Puff Samba for the clan, obviously. I mean, look at me. I'm Puff Samba right now. 42 and 1 in the first round. Not my best game play in the first round, but still 42 and 1 in the first round. I'm a pub stomper in my opinion. I have a 6.26 KD and I'm veering off track. Like I said, I get a little scatterbrained when I'm commentating without set topics. But back to what I was saying about the clan. Um, it's a pub stomper clan along with a YouTube clan. The YouTube channel currently holds, I want to say, 1,300 subscribers. If not 1,300, it's right at like 1,290 and 98, 99, something like that. But you know, it's a YouTube, it's a YouTube clan. It's a freaking competitive clan, and it is a pub stomping clan. So all of these things that you can actually get into into the clan if you guys are interested in joining the clan you know i will we'll be leaving a link to my twitter down in the description below if you guys are interested in joining the clan and that's going to be pretty much it for that segment of the video now moving on with another topic that i did want to talk about is going to be first of all i'm like honestly guys repeatedly week after week month after month i keep telling you guys that i'm gonna come to you with the set series and every time i do a new channel update and i say i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i never do it well the reason why i don't always follow through with my weekly or my daily schedule is because i have work every single day of the week guys which like every day i work it's like there's no off days tomorrow is actually going to be my first off day well tomorrow being today which is thursday because it's like fucking one o'clock in the morning but you know it's going to be my first off day in like two months so you know it's going to give me time to edit this video you know try to do some new uh tips and uh not tips and tricks but it's gonna it's gonna give me time to actually do some new things and try out and do a little bit of experimenting with this video as far as sound effects goes but like I was saying, like, I don't really have the time to upload on a consistent schedule. It takes me a, it takes me at least an hour to two hours to do these videos. I mean, just because of the simple fact of me commentating. I'm not the best commentating, obvious. I'm not the best commentator, obviously. And, like, it's really hard coming up with these topics. Like, back when I was using Chef Factory to make my videos, like, my commentary topics were solid. Like, I had a list. I would go up on this list and I just like read off the freaking pimp the points from top to bottom and I just talk on it, elaborate on it from top to bottom. And now, like recently, I just been going off the dome. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to to do that in my opinion because I'm like I'm not a very good speaker to be honest. Like I don't like I can't just talk about anything. Like especially like I can talk about Call of Duty all day long, but. There's really not much to talk about in Call of Duty unless like you talking to somebody in person and you're talking about a freaking like me like like say I'm talking about this game right here that's different but you know just sitting on YouTube talking over a video for 10 minutes long I mean it's not easy but back to something else I'm gonna talk about which is going to be specialist in the game all right so guys I don't know if you guys have heard this or not but 
there have been a lot of rumors going around talking about how there's going to be a tent specialist and there's a, actually a couple of videos up on youtube that shows the tent specialist uh gameplay i do not know the name of it the name of the tent specialist but i do know that the tent specialist ability is to steal other specialist abilities so basically if i'm using my scythe and but well let me put it this way basically if you're using your scythe and i have the tent specialist equipped and i use my specialist ability i can use your scythe i guess if that makes any sense i i get the ability to use a scythe so it's basically what the uh, tent specialist does Another thing I want to talk about is Call of Duty 2016, guys. I'm actually going to be making a separate video on this topic alone, and it's going to be like it's going to go deep into details on what my opinions are. But you know, Call of Duty 2016, the last couple of years they like really haven't been coming out with that good of a Call of Duty. This is the best Call of Duty in the last three years, in my opinion. But you know, Infinite Warfare. To be honest, the only reason why people are buying Infinite Warfare is because of COD 4. Let's let's be real. I'm I'm gonna try out the game. You know, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a try, just like I did with Black Ops 3. Honestly, didn't think Black Ops 3 was gonna be that good. I was looking forward to the game. I mean, just because it's Black Ops, but it's because of the movement system. I didn't think the game was gonna be that good. I played the beta and it was amazing. But you know, Infinite Warfare. I just I just honestly I don't see that game. I don't see Infinity Warfare. I don't see them, uh, what are the words I'm trying to put together guys, I don't see them doing well with this game, I mean look at the trailer, yeah it's the most viewed COD trailer in Call of Duty history, but in the same aspect it's the most disliked Call of Duty, it's the most disliked gaming video in Call of Duty history, like the thing has almost 2 million dislikes if not already 2 million dislikes. And it's like the freaking sixth or the seventh most disliked video in Call of in YouTube history. In YouTube history, let me repeat that one more time. In YouTube history, like the sixth or the seventh most disliked video, like people don't like this game so much to the point where there are bandwagons of people going and disliking this video. Like when will freaking the Call of Duty franchise get the picture? We want boots on the ground. We want freaking no exo movements we just straight up want classic call of duty that's what everybody was raised up on and that's what the majority of the call of duty community wants but that's pretty much gonna be it for my commentary today guys if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to smack that like button as well as if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe thanks you guys for watching the video once again i hope you guys do have a very blessed and wonderful day this is going to be trady 15 out peace Yeah, yeah, yeah.